Thanks, Ethan. Well, I'm joined by Cindy Rarit with Sioux City Animal Adoption and Rescue. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, the temps are starting to feel more like summer. What are some good uh, pet safety tips for this time of year? It is. It's hot, but yet it's raining. So we got to take those extra precautions with our pets, which means if you do have a pet, dog or a cat, um, there is a leash law on them for dogs as well as cats. So if you're going to have them outside, please, you know, use kindness and courtesy for your neighbors in case they're barking and things like that. But they do have to have shelter while they're outside, even if it's over 15 minutes, under 15 minutes, just because these weathers can change on a dime. So we need to have some type of protection for them. Um, and then also protect them from barking and disturbing the neighbors and running loose and things like that. We also want to make sure that they're protected and, and safe um, with going with their owners on a trip. Make sure you just leave them home. That's the safest place for them. However, if you do take them with you, the ambient temperature can only be 79 degrees. That's inside or outside. So if your dog is in the car, it has to have that, that uh, your air conditioning going to protect it. And what should people do if they walk by and see a pet in a car on a hot day? Um, definitely, if the temperature is over 79 degrees, they need to contact us and so that we can get out there and we can aid uh, assistance to that dog. We have an instrument that we do use. Um, it is a, a, a uh, instrument that, uh, that infrared thermometer. And basically, it, like I'll use this glass of water here, if I use that on that glass of water, it will tell me exactly the temperature of that of what's inside that glass, which is water. But in, in the event of a dog or, or animal that's inside of a vehicle, we can use that to tell the inside temperature. And if it's too much, then we get the police department there and that animal is removed and the owner can be ticketed um, for the safety of the animal. So make sure, just leave them home. When the temperatures are hot, leave them home. They're more comfortable. They can be in their own bed. They've got air conditioning. Leave them home where they're more comfortable rather than taking them out in a hot car or maybe you get stranded along a roadside somewhere and it's very, very hot. Also, putting them in the back end of a, of a pickup truck can get very, very hot. A lot of people, I see a lot of people driving around town with a dog in the back of the car or the back of their pickup, which is, in essence, a very nice thing. It's a nice day. But again, for the safety of that animal, it can fall out very quickly, and that back end of a pickup can get very, very hot very quickly, even if you're moving. So leave them at home. Don't put them in the back of the vehicle. Don't put them in the vehicle at all. Absolutely. And you guys have a special event coming up next week. Tell me about that. We do. On June 11th, we have a barbecue. Um, we've got uh, um, a barbecue down at the shelter, free will donation barbecue. Um, they can come down and uh, look at the pets, maybe take one home and get a free sandwich, barbecue pork sandwich. Sounds like a great way to help support the rescue and get some good food too. Absolutely. It's going to be a good time. Well, thanks so much for stopping by today. Thank you for helping me or thank you for having me and keep those pets safe.